All right, we're zooming. This could be track. This could be football. Uh, how you doing, Toa? Good, good. How are you? All right, and how this came about? You know, I know you from football, but you guys did something to track the four by one hundred. Tell people uh, you broke a record. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, at the Media Champions in Sacramento, uh, me, Jane Jefferson, Jay Nicholas, and Jonathan Grow broke the uh, De La Salle four by one record. Right, and what's neat about this, I know a little bit about the history. It's 15 years, and my good friend, uh, Haran Ward, uh, Ken Egu, Chase Wheeler, Tyler Anderson, they had a good run. Uh, that's it. Has any of those guys, uh, has Coach Ward, has Teron Ward talked to you about this, or uh, he's waiting for the football season to acknowledge that you're now faster? Uh, yes, of course. You know, we've all brought it up. You know, he's congratulating us, saying that, you know, we, he had his good run, and also Chase Wheeler. Uh, well, Coach Wheeler now, you know, he coaches, so and he actually helped us, you know, prepare for that race and, you know, throughout the week. So it was good for him to see um, us break it. And he was there at the meet while we broke it. And he was like, you know, at least we were, at least he was there to see it. So, so I've learned something. I I knew he his job. He's like a scientist or something. I mean, he's he has a real job, but then he's coach. I mean, he's Coach Wheeler. So he helped you beat his record. Uh, uh, what what did you learn from him? Um, well, he he took uh, I think Guerrero um, was his leg, the third leg. I'm pretty sure. I'm not I'm not positive, but um, he he's helped Guerrero out with a few mechanics with his start and how he did it, and it helped Guerrero out a lot. So, you know, he's helped this team, and uh, especially with our training, trying to you know get us faster. So, you know, it's been good working with him. See, this is good. I see I have more guys to do a Zoom with, uh, you know, uh, both both uh, Jaden Jefferson and Jaden Nichols and Guerrero. And now I have a question I can ask Guerrero, how being the third leg, how Chase Wheeler specifically helped him. And then what I noticed today is I figured out uh, how it works. It's uh, it's uh, Jefferson to Nichols to um, a Guerrero to you. So ha has it always been that way all season? Yeah, it's been that way all season, and also last year, we lost um, Chuck uh, Chuck Wanansu last year, and he was our second leg. So we had uh, Jay Nicholas um, replace him, and so nothing's changed. Just uh, Jay Nicholas and Chuck. Right, and the one thing I should get, I mispronounced the name Jaden Nicholas. So I, Nicholas, I to, yeah, exactly. I have to call him by his his correct name, his government name. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and we always so call him. We always call them by their last name because, you know, both Jadens, you're going to mix up. Right. I mean, yeah, and we'll get to that. I mean, that's on the football. I mean, uh, in fact, you guys are all football. I mean, uh, yeah. the, the, the speed on the football team. Uh, yeah, maybe that's it. Uh, I'll do a Zoom with each of those guys. Uh, but tell me tell me about uh, Jaden Jefferson. You have Jaden Jefferson, very talented, very fast, you know. You know, coming out of that, coming out the hole with a 10-5 guy is a great, uh, great start for our relay, you know, getting in the first, get our second leg getting in the first and just starting off, you know, with a head start. It's great to have him on our team, you know, good guy. I love him. Right. And then the, the next Jaden, uh, tell, tell us about him. Yeah, Nicholas, you know, at the start, you know, he's a quiet guy, you know, kept to himself, but you should really start to get to know him. He's funny, you know, and he, once he gets comfortable, he, you know, he talks a lot. So it's great. I love him on the team. You know, he's also a very fast dude, a very, like, has a lot of potential. Uh, on the field and on the track field. So, you know, he's going to be good for, our, uh, for you know, this state title we're coming for for the 4 by one and also uh, the state title we're coming for for the next year football uh, season. All right. No, and also it, it, both those guys, they're young. They're sophomores, and they both ran with you as freshmen. Uh, and then uh, Guerrero, uh, he was your, your wide receiver. Yeah, Guerrero, you know, love that guy to death. You know, we, he's one of those you know, uh, older classmen I looked up to and had a, a, ple a privilege to throw to during uh, these past two seasons. I was on varsity, you know, it's my sophomore and uh, junior year. And, you know, I'm going to miss that guy going up playing at uh, uh, USD. So, you know, I hope the best, you know, when he goes down there, I'm obviously going to miss him. It's going to be different, you know, not being able to uh, see him during the summer and stuff. But, you know, all is well. And, you know, I hope him, I hope, uh, you know, wish him the best. Right, and so uh, I, I think I just learned something. Uh, USD, that's the uh, the West. Is that the Toreros, the, the, the University of San Diego? Yep, yep. 
All right. I'll, 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 that's you're giving me stuff I can ask him about. So that <laughs> yeah. You know, this is pretty. He's a smart guy. I think giving the you all the background guys, information. We're gonna say it again. I'm giving you all the background information. Yes, exactly. You you could be my producer. You know, well, <laughs> well that's what you are. You're a quarterback, and then you're the anchor leg. Uh, yeah, you get stuff done. And so, uh, uh, yeah. So no. So Guerrero. That's it, though. You guys all come back. Who can re- who can replace Guerrero next year in track? Yeah, we have a lot of young talent and coming up. We have a. Uh... Deuce, uh, Jones Drew, you know, Maurice Jones Drew's son. And then we have Emery Spate. Uh, he's going to be a junior next year, sophomore right now. So, you know, we have some talent coming up, you know, competing, whoever wants that spot. But, you know, we got we got guys. No, so this this record, you guys could break this record again this year. And then next year, uh, uh, Guerrero might only be on the record book for one year. <laughs> yeah, he was, you know, after we broke that record, he was like, Come on, man. Let's make it last for a little bit, you know, next year. So my name can be on there for a little bit because <laughs> he knows, you know, the next year we're going to have a very talented team again. So, you know, it's going to it's going to be a good year. We still have a lot of um, work to do this year and we're definitely going to break, uh, you know, what we ran a couple of weeks ago. You know, it's right now it's, we're darling down a little bit, just trying to make it through, you know, league. But, you know, once NCS comes around the state, you know, we're really going to be pushing in, trying to, you know, um, you know, just break, you know, break more records. Right. And that's the thing. I think the way it works is NorCal is good and tough, but it's SoCal, correct? I mean, there's, yep. this, am I, am I correct about this? Yeah, there's, you know, there's a lot of uh, talented teams out there in SoCal, a lot of good competition. Right now we're number two in the state and the number one in the state is Granada Hills from de- uh, down there in SoCal. And right. so, you know, it's, it's going to be a lot of competition out there, you know, out here, there's a couple of good teams, you know, you got El Cerrito. So, yeah, but mostly out there in SoCal. Right. I'm going to take it, uh, yeah, beat El Cerrito, uh, beat NorCal. And th- this is Granada Hills. It had the slowest quarterback ever. You know, you know John about John Elway? <laughs> no, I don't. Yeah, no, uh, John Elway, Denver Broncos, Super Bowl champion. He wasn't exactly fast. I'm joking. He, he played uh, baseball and football for Granada Hills. And uh, you, you've heard of John Elway, though. Uh, no, I'm no. <laughs> Oh, we got to get your – okay, we got to educate you. Uh, uh, John Elway was, is only a two-time Super Bowl champ. I'm going to talk, talk talk to Coach Allenbaugh. We, I'm joking, but we have to get <laughs> – no, no, John Elway is a Hall of Famer. But, but the, the point being is John Elway always passed. So I'm, I don't know why I brought all this up. When you, I just wanted to show knowledge that I've heard of Granada Hills. We'll move on from that. Oh, yeah. but, I meant, uh, <laughs> uh, but, no, that's interesting. Well, here, here, you stumped me right now. Presence. I'm an old man. Who do you watch in the NFL? Who, uh, who who do you uh, enjoy watching? Uh, I enjoy watching uh, Patrick Mahomes and Lamar Jackson. The most. I like I like Lamar's um, running skills and the speed, and I like uh, Patrick Mahomes' arm talent. Right. And um, Mahomes actually can run a little bit. He's oh yeah, he can running. run. He can definitely run. Yeah, but. Um, you know, Lamar Jackson got you know that got that speed. Oh, you know, L- Lamar has track speed, and uh, yeah. yeah, no, uh, yeah, that's it. Yeah, model model your game after uh, Lamar Jackson, and I think he last summer he negotiated his contract himself. He's a genius. He didn't have to give any money to an agent. He, uh, I, I'm pretty sure. I hope I'm not making stuff up. Uh, so yeah, Lamar Jackson. So in, in terms of teams, is is a Baltimore? Or who do you who do you root for? Oh man, I, you know I'm a I'm a Barry kid, so you know I got to go for my Niners. Nice, okay. No, and I was just down there uh, to uh, for their their pro day, uh, but the the for, the, the 49ers, talk, talk, Well, we don't have to talk about them, but there's so much talent on that team. I mean, they got it's not an all star team, but they on uh, the 49ers. Who do you who do you root for? Uh, this like specifically as a player. Yeah, or, or a couple guys. Yeah, like uh, when you watch the 49ers, who do you really focus on? Uh, I'm focused on Debo, and then uh, you know the uh, safety uh, Hufanga. You know he's Tongan. You know Pauly. So you know I like you know always like to support all the Pauly. So yeah, but honestly, you know I'm not I'm not too big of a fan of a football watcher. Yeah, you know you're you're too busy playing football. See that's the thing. I'm an old man. I sit there and I play fantasy football, and I hope people have a good day. You're out there. Do it. It's smart. You, 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 exactly. But you, you, you know enough. Uh, then that, that's also the uh, the Pauly 
uh, uh, Dave Asiasi, you know him as Coach Asiasi, uh, DJ Asiasi, Devon Asiasi's dad. He calls it a poly movement. And so you are uh, 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 specifically a Tongan. I'm, I'm Samoan. Samoan, excuse me. See, that, that's it. Uh, uh, your dad, I met your dad, of course. He, he, he's Samoan. And yeah, exactly. Oh, give a shout out to your dad. A million years ago, he played on VHS tape. <laughs> yeah, you know, you showed me some of his film. I was like, dang, that's you. I, I don't even know. Y'all didn't have no huddle back then. So it was, you know, it's funny seeing, like, you know, how old, you know, all the new technology you have on days and how, like, you know, grateful for, like, all, like, the film we have because, you know, it's so, it's so clear. But, you know, back then I'm just, like, came and, you know, see what number he was. I was like, is that you or is that you? So it's funny, though. But, yeah, he played at Utah State. Uh, he played linebacker at Utah State, so you know it was it's good seeing you know him play and just you know seeing someone else you know from my family play. Absolutely, and you're a, 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 a continuing the uh, the legacy. That's it. It, it. Is is his film at least in color? Uh, yeah, it was. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's it. No, no the the yeah. people he's that not, he's not like that it. old. Exactly. No, as I said, the nineties. <laughs> No, but people that played like in the 70s and early 80s, it might be black and white, but uh, no, it doesn't matter. But yeah, you, it's uh, the technology, how you can, uh, uh, that's it. College coach, uh, who, who has been in contact with you? And oh, is your future track or is your future uh, football? Uh, yeah, um, I'm definitely, definitely football. You know, I'm track. You know, I, I love track. You know, it's, it keeps me in shape, gets me faster for the football season, but it's definitely helped me with my football. And, you know, the college I've been talking to uh, a lot is um, Idaho, San Diego State, and, you know, uh, Nevada, San Diego, um, Fresno State. So I've been talking with them. Yeah. Are they aware of your new record? Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. San Diego – yeah, I, I, I talked to San Diego State today. You know, we was chopping it up, talking about our record and also Idaho. You know, they were saying congratulations, you know, keep it going. That's good. It shows they're doing a, a good job of recruiting. They're, they're doing research, you know. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, that's it. They're, they're taking an interest in you. That they 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 know what you're doing. Uh, yeah, I mentioned that. Uh, I'm trying to think uh, the transition. Like people don't have to know this right now. It's all track. So I mean, you're not on the football field until what the, uh, June or after well, after the track season. Yeah, I'm not on the field until uh, after May. Uh, I think um, our state meets like May 25th, somewhere around there. And the summer summer ball starts like the first second week of June, so I'm not on the field until then. I am doing um, you know, there is a couple camps I'm gonna be participating in before then, but other than that, no, I'm not on the football field until then. Right. Well, well, you're you're busy. You know, you 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 have a, a, and so t talk people through there. There's the the league meet, NCS, and then is it NorCal and then state? Have I figured this out? Yeah, so I think it's um it goes E ball, which is this Friday. Right. And then the week after it's Tri Valley. And then after that it's an uh, NCS North Coast section and then state. Right. And do you know where some of these meets are? And maybe I put some gas in my car and, and come and watch. <laughs> yeah. So mm -hmm. the uh meet meet this Friday, it's in Livermore High School. Next week it should be at Pittsburgh High School, the week after at uh Dublin High School. And then um, the state meet is in uh, Fresno. It's at Buchanan High School. Okay, uh, that that one's a little too far. But well, what are those, <laughs> yeah, what are those first three ones? And uh, it's easy. Uh, you, um, I've never been to Livermore High School. I kind of know where Livermore is. But uh, have you ever? I'm showing my age. Had to write down directions. Right. Never. <laughs> no, so you don't even know what I'm talking about. Talk to your dad. <laughs> we used to have to, to drive around. We had to write down directions when we didn't know where we were going. And then if you got lost, you had to go to a gas station and ask, well, where am I? How do I get there? Now, all you do is you just put in uh, the technology. I don't Everyone knows this, but I mean, just put in an address and you, you can find the place. I mean, uh, so no, it's all uh, the long story short. Uh, I'll be able to figure out how, how to get to those places. I'll figure that out. And then I'll just look at a schedule. Is there there's qualifying? Uh, how does the track meet work? Yeah, so it's uh, different for every uh, I think every track meet. So I know this meet they take uh, they take the top six guys uh, from the meet, and then you qualify for the next meet. And I think after that, you know, it trickles down to you know faster and faster and faster until the state meet. So, um, you know, 
the more the higher you go in the meets, you know, the more competition, the more fast, you know, faster faster times. Right. No, but even in the meet itself, do you have is there like a qualifying heat to get to the finals, or do you go straight to the finals? How do, how does that work at the meet itself? Oh, got it. Yeah. So there's uh different heats. There's multiple heats, and usually you're seated and based on your time. And so you could be like, so it can be like three heats, right? You can be a heat one. And even if you're in heat one and still get a top six time out of all the heats, you qualify. Gotcha. And so, and so like, um, our four by one team, we have like, you know, it's, it's, we're the fast, we're the fast four by one team. So we're going to be in the third heat, but that doesn't mean the, you know, people in the first heat won't qualify. I gotcha. No, and so do you let up a little bit? I mean, you still want to be fast, but I mean, you don't. Do you go? You don't go. Do you go all out in those qualifying heats? Uh, so I think so. Now that it's uh e ball, we're gonna uh take it a little slow. I think this time yes. we're just gonna try to get the uh, baton, you know, around the track, and you know, because you don't want anything to happen. You know, there's gonna be a lot of eyes on us based on you know that's where coach said there's gonna be a lot of eyes on us based on what time he ran. So they're gonna probably try to be looking for if we're stepping on the line or if we ran out of the zone during the, um, an exchange. And so we're, our, our goal is just, you know, still run fast, but um, get that baton, you know, around the track and, you know, get a decent time. But at the end of the day, you know, we know if we get that baton by the, uh, around the track cleanly, then we're going to, you know, definitely going to get, you know, that in the first place. Right. Don't drop the baton. Yep. Yep. <laughs> and, and that's what I saw today. It's just, you guys were practicing, uh, going the, the baton going back uh, from a one uh, as, as I said, starting uh, with um, with uh, Jefferson and then going through and ending up with you. And yeah, that that is, I mean, uh, 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 that, that's a skill. And then, and I guess you have a certain amount of t- you said the zone. See, I don't even know about this. You have to pass the the, the baton before you, uh, you you have a limited amount of time. Yeah. Uh, yep. So they have like you know a, a mark where if you if you you know pass this uh, mark and you still don't have the baton, then you're uh, disqualified. So you know we have you know a good like I think maybe like 20, 25, 30 meters. No, but you said don't let some umpire or ref disqualify you. And you said you're not a mark exactly. They're just uh, yep. uh, yeah. So you guys got that figured out. What about individually? Do you do the hundred uh, on your own? Uh, yes, sir. So we, I have the hundred meter and I, I'm running the 200 meter too. It's my first 200 meter of the year. Right. So okay. I'm, I'm excited for that. At 200, the, the, I'm, I'm going to test you again. You might have to ask your, Michael Johnson. He, he was an Olympian. No. Okay. Yeah. This was the big news. Maybe it's the Atlanta Olympics. It doesn't, I'm asking you stuff that was like 20 years before you're born. So you, you <laughs> can pass, but, yeah. uh, yeah, Michael, because everyone always talked about the 100. His big thing was the 200. Uh, tell people about that because that's half of it would be, it would be half the track because the track is 400. Uh, yeah, how do you how, how do you the 200 is different? How how do you you save something or tell me about the 200? Uh, yeah, I've asked my coach how to run 200, and you know, there's a lot of like you know, to a lot of people do it different things. Usually, what I do is um, I get out get out the first 70 meters first um yeah 65 70 and then i float 30 meters around that curve and then the last 100 meters go all out and try to pick my legs up and relax and you know finish the race right no it's it's almost like being on on the football field you mentioned that as i said that your speed on the football field i mean we're not telling anybody well now they really know i mean people knew you're fast now they know you have track speed and they have to tackle you. I mean, uh, uh, I would not want to be a safety. Uh, and uh, are you following me on that? Uh, you coming yeah. at me because you can go around the person or you can run them over, correct? <laughs> yep. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely definitely blessed with the speed and being able to, um, you know, put it to my game on the field, if, you know, broken play or something happens with the receiver and I got to scramble out of there and, you know, you know, gain, a couple, gain some yards. Yeah, it def- definitely helps. It puts a lot of pressure on the defense. And so, you know, it makes, you know, makes the game way easier. Right. And then, yeah, maybe I'm trying to think. I'm all over. I just want to thank you. You've educated me about, you've turned me into a track savant. I'm going to, uh, yeah. I'm going to learn more about this. And did you do track before Dallas Al or did you pick up track at Dallas Al? 
Uh, no, I did not do track. I was a baseball player growing up, so I did that. And um, so, yeah, last year was my first year of track. Holy smokes. So, yeah, so that's it. So did you just figure – because I could see you being a good baseball player. Did you just think the track would help help you with more with the football? Yeah, you know, I figured out that, you know, uh, baseball, it was just, uh, you know, the Dale LaSalle, uh, Dale LaSalle, you know, the baseball and football program, they're very, you know, very good programs and trying to like between the quarterback, you know, pitching, it was kind of hard to, you know, juggle with that. So I knew that I was probably going to have to pick one. So I just went with football and, you know, I was going to plan on doing, plan on doing some baseball, you know, in the, during the summer, uh, do some summer ball, but, um, during the, uh, the um, spring season, I was just going to do track. Right. When you play baseball, well, are you an outfielder or where do you, where do you play? Oh, uh, I pitched, I pitched and I hit. Oh my goodness. You're an athlete. I had no idea. So that's it. So, so no wonder you could throw the football. You, 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 you're, you're a pitcher. Okay. My goodness. Uh, you, you have numerous talents. <laughs> yeah. You can say that. Yeah. No, that's good. Well, what about uh, school wise? Uh, what's your favorite uh, subject? Oh, right now. I'm liking uh, English. Yeah. English. That's right. probably my favorite subject. Is that, is that writing or reading books? So uh, what, what class is that? So yeah, right now we're uh reading reading books a lot right now and then just you know going deep into the book and just talking about it and you know you have some assignments about it. But yeah, I, I like the uh past book we read. It was nice, it was you know, it was a good eye opener and you know, it was about um, you know, uh this like uh the system of this immigrating to America and so it was it was a good book. I liked it a lot. Do you remember the title? Yeah, it's called I'm Not Your Perfect Mexican Daughter. Okay, there you go. See, the, the I got to write that down. I, you you have given me something. I, I can read about that. Or that might be a Jeopardy question. You know, so, uh, <laughs> you know, th this is good. And I, I just like you. Your, your personality, uh, you're athletic, you're a leader, uh, you're doing well. Uh, you're, I think you have good grades. Yep. Enough? Yep. Okay, that's it. Because you can't go to college if you don't have good grades. So, uh uh what about this uh, your your Samoan heritage how important is that yeah uh, you know that's everything I stressed out a lot you know that's first you know uh you know in the Samoan culture you know family's always first family school football so you know uh you know I I you know I like to stress that a lot uh, right now we have the uh, poly club we started it up you know trying to get you know all the polys together because you know there's not a lot of polys out here in the United States or in just California so you know, just having that uh, De La Salle, I think it's a, it's good for us. Uh, we have actually, uh, we're doing a dance right now. Uh, I'm not going to be able to make it, you know, unfortunately, because it's during Friday and I have a track meet. The only track meet I have on a Friday and it's that day. So, you know, that's a bummer and because I want to be out there. Well, you know, but, yeah, it's, it, you know, it's, you know, that heritage, you know, it's it, it's deep and, you know, I, I, I like to express it. That's neat. So the Poly Club at De La Salle. It's not half the football, but there's a lot of polys on the football team. Yeah, you know, there's a good amount. You know, the there there was there was a lot a couple of years ago. You know, it was dwindling down, but yeah, there's definitely you know there's a good you know ten twelve of us, so it's right. good. And then what what if they're all probably just polys in the school? I don't know. You know, there's just regular polys, correct? Just students. Yeah, I've seen I've seen a couple of polys and met a couple of polys that are um just you know regular students. But uh, most of the polys that are in the club, they're on the football team because it's not an official club because um, they didn't uh, – for some reason, we didn't get cleared. I forgot what the reason was. So we're right now we're kind of just doing our own thing after right. school, after our sports. But uh, so next year we're going to um, try to implement it in, in an official club. And so, you know, more a lot of people in the school know about it. That's neat. And also you can just – people that want to learn about the Polynesian culture – uh, that they can join, but and that's just, it. It is cultural, though. Uh, uh, Polynesia, Samoa, and football. Am I correct about that? Yep. Yeah. Uh, do you have any idea why that is? I mean, it's, you were born into it, but I meant uh, it's almost like the official sport of Samoa. <laughs> yeah, you know, there's you know Samoa. There's a lot of Samoans playing football. You know, you know, we you know we're big, and so. It's just, you know, I've maybe maybe just in our blood, you know, 
like yeah. you know, there's also just like rugby. A lot of a lot of uh, Polynesians play rugby, so, uh, football. So, right. It's just uh, I don't want to tackle a, a Polynesian rugby player. <laughs> yeah, me neither. No, exactly. But that going back to it, yeah, most of them are. I mean, it's it, it's it's linemen. I mean, there there are there are some fast guys. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, the guy I think of is the name. Um, oh, I think he played for the 49ers and then with the, the Patriots. Uh, Born. Uh, yeah, he's uh, it's not his. It must be um, uh, a Pauly Mom because Born is not a, um, uh, a Pauly name, but he, he's uh, he's half Pauly. Uh, he's quick. Uh, uh, but no, it's just, uh, um, oh, look at this. Uh, Zoom is telling me I have to r- wrap up here soon. Uh, but uh, 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 let me continue. Yeah, who who is your favorite Polynesian player? Ooh, like in the NFL? Yes. Uh, Pai Hufanga. Wow, see, it is, was that the 49er or who? who is yep. that? Yeah, okay. 49er. The 49er safety. Okay, see, that's it. See, I know about uh, 10 49ers. I have to learn about him. He's the 11th. And so, uh, yeah. yeah, no, that's good. I'm trying to think what else to talk about. Maybe sort of an overview, even though you haven't been around, uh, you're still keeping tabs, like uh, the, the the football uh, uh, the football season. I mean, uh, what are some of the um, – uh, well, uh, some it's obvious who's coming back. Yeah, you sort of give us uh, an overview of the football. Yeah, you know, this year we had a young team last year, and so a lot of the guys are going to be juniors, going to be upperclassmen. So, you know, going to expect a lot from those guys, you know, step, uh, ask them to step up more than, you know, they have. So, you know, we're going to have a good, talented team, you know, looking to go state, win state. So, you know, I'm excited, you know, excited for, you know, our guys, excited to, you know, to get back on that field with them and, you know, just looking forward to it. Right. And you'll be a leader. I mean, you were a leader last year. Now, now you'll be a senior. I was talking with some of the baseball guys today. The the seniors at Dallas South, he said he has 10 more days of school. So, I mean, uh, pretty soon you'll be one of the oldest guys on campus. Uh, yeah, it's crazy. You know, I was just talking to my dad this morning. You know, it's crazy just and looking back and seeing, you know, from my freshman year all the way up to now, you know, next year I'm going to be a senior, you know, how fast it's going and all these things that are happening and everything that has happened. And so, you know, I'm excited, but I'm also kind of sad, you know, in my senior year, it's going to feel a little weird, but, you know, I'm ready. Right. And, and But no, but also the junior year, you got a plan here. I mean, uh, you, you got, you're busy the next uh, few weeks. I'll stay, stay in touch with that. I'm trying to think if there's anything, um, have I have I forgotten anything? Is there anything you'd like to add, Noah? Ah, oh, man. Uh, not, not that I can not, not that I can think of. Yeah. Well, that makes me feel good because, as you know, I just do this for fun, and I pull everything off the top of my head. I I don't I don't write any notes, and so I must have asked asked enough questions here. But no, you're you're a pleasure to talk to, and so uh, you'll definitely be a, a repeat guest. Uh, h- hang on here for. Um, Although I'll talk to you afterwards, but uh, no, I'd like, I'd like to thank you, and uh, I'll uh, see you in football, maybe even the track. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, as I said, into whatever Google and figure out how to get to those other high schools. Yep, you know, just come out, just let me know. Yeah, I'll absolutely. Be, you know, I'll be waiting for you. Yeah, absolutely. And your dad will be there. Yeah, he should be there. Yeah, you, you yeah, know, he's... absolutely. No, your dad's a good guy. So no, uh, this is good. Okay, uh, hold on a second, and then, uh, uh, but thanks, thanks again.